Welcome back to Southern Adirondack Outdoors. Today we're revisiting some cherry mantles we milled a few months ago. We made some rookie mistakes with this. We, in the cooler months, decided to throw the mantles into the shelter logic so they could uh, begin to dry in there. We later realized that was a huge mistake considering the temperatures that the shelter logic gets up to in the summertime. So I'll insert some video clips here, but you'll see the temperatures in there have gotten quite high and the cherry mantles have split quite severely. So today we're going to work on milling another cherry mantle and seeing what else we can get out of this log. I've been messing around with this for a few minutes now. Uh, I finally got it the way I think I want it. Uh, you can see I've got a crack across here. I've got that at 11 inches. I think I'm going to make a horizontal cut right along the pit, and then I'll cut out a couple mantles, uh, both top and bottom. I'm going to try to, I'll, I'll probably cut away some of the pith after I make that cut, but I can make my cut here, and I can do a vertical cut. I can also get this on the bottom. So, and I'll try to cut away the pith, drop this down in here. So I've got lots of room. Uh, what I'm going for is a seven by five, and I'm probably gonna mill this a little larger than that. So if I get any twist or bowing uh, during drying, the, um, then that can be planed away and uh, it can be um, corrected when, once the drying process is done. This is gonna have to air dry for quite a while and then also um, be, kiln dried. I moved the mill head down so we can see what we're doing here and I can get the camera set up. So this puts the pith on this end at about 11 and a half. So I'm slightly off but not bad. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not but there's a pith here from this end. There's the anywhere from there above the pith and there down below the pith. Uh, so we should be good. I'm going to go ahead and make a couple passes on this and basically split this log in half and figure out how I want to mill it.
These are the center slabs. This is the pith that I cut out. When I knocked on them, they actually sound kind of hollow. And there's a couple splits in here. I don't know if you can see that. This one had it worse. Over here, it actually has uh, this stuff. And it's, the fibers are raised and it's like it's split there. So maybe that's just a good example of why the pith is so unstable. So really pretty. And this is the bottom part of the log. This is what I'm going to start milling down for a mantle. Got my toe boards out. So I'm going to make uh, my cut to start to narrow this down. This is six inches thick, um, and that's going to be for final dimensions of five inches. Uh, and then the, it's going to be seven inches wide. What I'm doing here, the way I do this on the 15, the way the bunks are set up, is I measure from the bunk up and find the lowest spot. So. Down here, I'm at about 14 and a half. You see it drops here. Um, but my nearest bunk is back here. So if I come back here and just eyeball it across, it's around 13, maybe 12 and a half. Um, and if I come down here, I'm just following this line, finding the lowest spot. And that's where I want to cut across. This is around 12. Um, well, excuse me, it's 13 here, but uh, right over here, it's around 12. So I think I'm going to come across here around right at 12. Um, and I usually bump it up an eighth of an inch for the curve of the blade. So look for my low point. That's 12 inches. That's where I'm going to go. And the other important thing is to check and make sure I have seven inches, which I do I have about 10 there. So that's going to leave me a clean seven inches to cut out my mantle.
I ended up coming down a little lower than I intended because there's a little defect there and that cut it out and I still have uh, plenty of room to get my sandwich. So. All right. I'm going to try to show you how I figure um, to how to make my cut and what to cut above it. I'll show you what I mean. Um, so we want to be at seven inches. Let me see if I can get you lined up over there. Okay, I'm going to lower this down. Let's see. There's there's seven inches right there. And on the wood miser, two notches represents one eighth of an inch. So I come back up one eighth to account for the curve of the saw blade. So if I come across here at seven and one eighth, it'll leave me with my seven inch measurement that I want. So there's my cant. I'm going to be cutting across it seven and an eighth. And I might be able to get a couple boards out of what's above it. So instead of cutting that off and resawing it later, I like to go ahead and figure that out now. So we'll come back up here. I'm at seven and an eighth. I'll probably just cut those into one inch boards. Hopefully this won't be too wobbly. So I want to come up an inch which is half a rotation on the LT15. So up an inch, whoops, it's going down. So up an inch, and then account for the curve of the saw, one eighth. And then I'll do it again. I have enough room for another, an inch and an eighth. And let's come back down, see where we are. Yeah, that's good. We're not going to get anything out of going higher. So that's where I'm going to start cutting. And then I'll be dropping down an inch and an eighth on each cut. And that'll account for my kerf. And give me my final cut where I want to be at seven inches. So my final dimensions on this are six by seven. They only need five, but they can plane that down. Uh, we do have, as you can see, a tiny bit of wane here. And the sap wood on this log has been really punky, so they'll probably need to plane that away. But uh, I'll show you, let me see, let me get my tape, see if I can get this going. All right, hang on everybody. All right, so we are at 79 inches and we actually need 67.5. So we should be fine with this. They can cut away what they need to. Um, and I probably should have gone wider than seven, but uh, uh, because of this, I was having issues with it. But we've got that other half of the log, which is bigger, and that'll give me a, a nice clean piece as well. So this came out nice.
let's see, we're gonna go for H. This is the most I can get here. Looks like nine, maybe nine and a half. Let's see. There's, no, nine. We're gonna come across at nine, then we'll see if we can take the rest off the other side.